Okay, so uh, we're going to have a look at some exporting today. So, you know, you've got your maps in Substance Painter, you want to get them out and into your, you know, target application. And we can do that by using File and Export uh, Textures. And under Export Textures, uh, we have some settings. Uh, so your output directory, uh, a template, your uh, files, sizes, and uh, whatever padding you want. Um, so the output templates we have all sorts depending upon your target application uh, so there's uh, DOTA there and Keyshot and Lens Studio, Maxwell, Renderman, Redshift, Unity, V-Ray all sorts of things uh, but there does come a time when there isn't a template that fully suits you um, for example I was exporting to a uh, an application which used an OpenGL normal uh, whereas the standard output for uh, here is DirectX. So I'm going to show you how I change that. So under output templates we can either create a new one which with the plus button which will create a completely blank one uh, or we can pick one that is close like my PBR metallic roughness and hit the copy here and we'll create a copy. So if I double click on that one I can rename it and I'll call this OpenGL because on a uh, different normal all the maps will be the same except the normal um, and then I find the normal output now we've got a, a template for the name of the file um, and then we have our actual output and you can trace your outputs uh, you see this is like a browny uh, orange this is taking it uh, from over here somewhere so on the converted maps here we have DirectX OpenGL and below it we have DirectX Normal so I could drag and drop that up to there and nothing will happen because I put it in the wrong place and I could put it on there and from the RGB channels and now I've switched it from being DirectX to OpenGL and whenever I use that template now uh, instead of outputting the DirectX uh, value it will output the um, the OpenGL value which is perfect uh, I won't have to change anything I just have to change my output template so similarly we can add additional channels to this so for example uh, just have a look at these input maps here so these are all of our kind of inputs in our um, texture stack uh, we have our original mesh maps here and we have our converted maps so there's a diffuse, mixed AO, glossiness, all sorts. And the ones with a square by it are the ones you're already outputting. So this base colour, for example, is coming from the image maps, and it's this one, base colour. Uh, we've got the emissive down here. We've got the opacity that's uh, up there, which is driving our kind of alpha for the, uh, for the diffuse map. Uh, we've got our roughness. Uh, but we can add in a channel to add any of these back to it and say you wanted your curvature map you want to use that curvature map you know somewhere else uh, we can add a channel here so uh, the ambient occlusion will be uh, a gray map i imagine uh, so i'm going to create a gray channel and drag and drop this ambient occlusion onto that output and then we'll have it uh, use the gray channel and we can copy our template name output from here and then just before that we'll change emissive to AO whoops did I type AO yes I was just looking in the wrong place so now in my output map I've got my options you know it will output the AI map as well as all the other maps so you can set up one or more you know many depending upon how you're doing it and then instead of having to do it time and time again or just rechange this that and the other or do it externally even um, you can do it within Substance Painter uh, so I hope you found that useful and I'll talk to you again in another set